Girls Who Code is a program in its inaugural year. We have 20 girls representing all five boroughs, uh, 12 different nationalities, here for the summer for eight weeks. And we wanted to give them an introduction to computer science and computer programming, sprinkled in with a little bit of entrepreneurship and um, self-development, speaking skills, and just a whole pile of confidence. When I was in my country, I always want to use computer, but I don't have, like, we have a computer in my house, but we're not, they're not going to let us to use it. So when I come here and my teacher told me about this program, I say yes, because like, I think that they're going to teach me something that I need in my future. Does that sort of make sense? You can nest these things as deeply as you want them. Uh, whatever kind of, um, whatever you're trying to achieve, you can do it by nesting. Before coming to this program, I didn't really know anything about computer science. So when I began to do the classes, I learned how to do different functions inside the computer that are like the background that can make other things work, like robots. Girls Who Code, I think, is important because of the fact that girls learn differently than boys, especially when we're talking about technology. There's so many false myths that many of the girls even internalize themselves that they're not good at math and science. But ever since elementary school, I've always been good at math. My father always told me, if you love money, you like math. And I love money, so I guess I like math. I'm excited about the app designing and the web designing. I use a lot of apps on my phone, and it would just be really cool to develop one. And when I have a problem, I can develop it myself. You see them like working together and collaborating with one another, and they're lifting each other's confidence up. And I think you need to have that setting right now as we build this mass movement. I'm just going to like everything. <laughs> <laughs> like how we sharing our ideas and helping each other and like we all like friends we never know each other but they're all like my sisters they're really getting to know one another they're participating more their confidence level has gone up enormously I could see myself making an app or something like family oriented apps or like funny apps I don't know like that's what this is really about. How do we create and enhance and innovate in our communities and make sure that people have access to education and, and jobs? And one of the larger missions of Girls Who Code is, in a number of years, become everyone can code. Right now we're addressing the gender diversity and the gender gap because that's such a huge problem in the space. But eventually we're going to need to address the problem of missing programmers at all. It's estimated that by 2020 there'll be four jobs for every current undergraduate computer scientist. The tech sector is growing faster than we can train young people to be prepared for those jobs. I think like I'm lucky to find it because it's like it's my, it was my dream to use computer. Yeah, so now I learn it. I will use it and nobody gonna tell me no, don't use it. <laughs>